Damn it. You're gonna have to make a choice, Dad. Which bird? Turkey or goose for Christmas dinner. Nigella keeps banging on about Brian and the turkey, but I mean, who has time to, to give the dinner a bath? You okay? PPI. No, man, he knows. Looks so. They're keen. Uh, I should pop to the chemist, really, and get something for the uh, redness. Get your bag, JK. I'll give you a lift. <coughs> Are we OK? Of course. Because you were quiet when you got back from the pub last night, and, well, it was a bit of a weird day, wasn't it, Pete hitting you like that? <laughs> yeah, he's been through a lot. And Layla? Yeah, I should get off, really. JK will be late. David? I love you. Love you more. So, it's kind of your third date late today. Try not to bore the life out of him till he falls asleep by last time. Well, it's a coffee, not a date. It's a date. I've done your takeaway, because you couldn't find for that bus. Got to be good this time of year. Santa will find out. <laughs> He's right in school now. Hiya. You all right? Yeah, fine. Um, might get over for a drink later, if you're free. Uh, well, I've got plans. With Alex. Oh, no problem. Um, some other time, maybe. Yeah, of course. And Sasha away. I cannot believe that Leo is being made to audition for a better part in the Nativity. I mean, who does Daphne think she is? I thought he was happy being a sheep. I mean, the sheep's... It's a good part. It's lunch! And the whole point of this was to raise money for the TA. Leo can't be stood at the back of his own fundraiser, and it's not like they're short parts either, is it? Cos half the school are down with this tummy bug. Well, yeah, I mean, I did hear the kids playing the innkeeper was like something out of The Exorcist the other day, just... Exactly! Right, so they should have just given that part straight to Leo. Even Jessie thought so, but oh, no. Daphne has demanded this audition today. I do not snore! <laughs> Never heard that sound in my life. <laughs> I've heard that. Through the walls. Everything all right? Daphne's struck again. She, she wants Leo to re-audition for the part of the innkeeper, apparently. Prove he's got the nativity X factor. Leo Goscook, he won that stage. Louis Walsh. I played the Virgin Mary in my nativity. And so did I. Long story. Shouldn't really matter what he plays on, should it? Cos it's just a bit of fun. That Daphne is not making her daughter centre stage on Leo's night. He deserves this. And he'll get it. We'll watch his audition. We'll help him rehearse. Look at this. In a room of the inn innkeeper for me and my lovely, snorry wife, Mary, here. <gasps> What's that doing here? Oh, come on. You wouldn't have even known she was here if you hadn't wafted that huge cheese butty in her face. We all know what was wafting out of that grotto yesterday. She wrecked that order, doing who knows what all over it. Get her out of here. She needs shelter. She's got nowhere else to go. And it's freezing out there. You think I'm being cruel, but it's more cruel letting her get attached when you can't look after her. She can't be in the shop with Frank. She can't be here. She can't stay. You need to think what you're going to do with her. What's best for her? I owe you an apology. Oh, I can't believe I punched you. Oh, my head's just so mashed over everything. If I could wipe out the whole of yesterday. Me too. Come here. Cheers, man. Pete, wait. I. I'll uh, reach this to the toilet windows. <laughs> Sorry. You're never meant to hurt you. Don't be. I, I can't make you love me, can I? And I messed us up. Find someone who makes you happy. I know, it was a mistake, yesterday. 
We say stupid things sometimes. Stuff that we don't necessarily mean. Stuff that if I was any sort of friend, which I am, just a friend, then I'd forget. So it never happened, yeah? Forgotten. I can't forget it. I love you, David. All the magic of Christmas in our grotto. Ho, ho, ho. Entrance price includes a gift. I heard the dog was leaving little presents. Yeah. Brandy and a mince pie, is it, eh? And a carrot for Rudolph. Oh. <laughs> Talking of which, David's nose is better. Better than what? Well, he was having a few drinks in here last night, wasn't he? It was right, stay. It wouldn't stop bleeding. No, never came in. Everything OK? Yeah, of course. And the truth? Well, David said he came to the pub last night, but where was he then? Because he was gone ages and he was acting all shifty today. Ah, oh, I've messed things up, haven't I? I've pushed him away. Tracy, I adore you, but you really need to stop all this. I mean, so he's probably gone to another pub, getting away from Pete. I mean, don't get all paranoid. <clears throat> yeah, you're right. Look, things like this can kill a marriage. Tell her, Tini. Oh, I know, OK, I'm a bad person. And I lost it yesterday, snapped at him for defending Layla. I need to be a better friend and a better wife and stop driving myself mad over things that don't even exist. You have the perfect husband and wonderful friends. That's the truth, isn't it? The truth is, um... There are some things you might need to know. He looks done in. So do you. Oh, I'm OK. Or I will be, when this nonsense is sorted. That's what I am to you, is it? Nonsense. You made all these promises after Joni, said how important our relationship was to you. This is our first test. I'll call this meeting off. If you just come and visit these houses with me, Zach. <sighs> Everything is on the line here. Hey, we got the jungle call. Oh! Soz, you two really at odds? Staying at the B&B? &B? That ain't right. Then help us. When everybody gets here, tell us what to do. I don't want to be a marriage wrecker, all right, cos I love Tracy, I really do. Well, then why say... Why use the L word on me? I tried not to, didn't I? But I just felt like I was going to explode. I had to get it out. You, David. No, no, this, this is a crush, right? This is a crush, like I have on Nicole Scherzinger thingy. And I know there's no chance, right? Oh, for God's sake, Layla, you jilted me! I know. That was the worst mistake of my life. No, it wasn't because you don't love me, right? This, all this, isn't true. You can't just wake up one morning and decide this. Yeah, but I have known for months. Since you renewed your vows to Tracy, when when you looked at her and you said that you love her to the moon, to the stars, to the end of time, to the edge of the sky and forever, that is when it hit me, David. That's how I feel about you. No, no. Do you know, I have broken women's hearts before with not being clear, so I am going to be perfectly clear with you, Layla. I love Tracy with all my heart. I know, I know you do. She can't find out, David, she'll hate me. What have I done now? Oh, don't cry. <laughs> Come on, please don't cry. I don't know what to do. I... I don't want you to do anything, all right? I don't want you to leave her. I just wanted you to know, that's all, I promise. Right, let's clean you up before anyone sees you. Get, um, get in there. Get in there, go sit down. No. Right, it's quiet. <laughs> what have I done? I'm so stupid, I'm nothing. You could love me. You're beautiful. And of course I love you. Have I lost you? No. What? No, no, I love you. I 
I didn't know anything until she told me last night. Told you what? She said she loved me. <gasps> Come out here and face me. Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! I said no, OK? I didn't know she was going to come back and tell me again today. All right, get out of here now, you tart. Someone's just been a little bit naughty, but it'll all be sorted in time for Christmas. It's telling the truth, OK? You are misunderstanding this whole situation. Yeah, you mess up your own marriage, so you try and steal mine, it's pretty clear. Nothing happened. It, 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 not a kiss or... And I love you back. We heard. Platonic? Sorry. Sorry to her! Well, I still don't come first. Yes, you do, cos he said no. Yeah, and then got you in the grotto. To comfort her? I, I, you're my world, Trace. Please believe me. It's you that I love. Lock the door. Put the clothes sign up. Good, and then we'll talk. No, just me and Layla. We'll sort this alone. So this... CPO thing, it could mean they can take the house anyway. You're not getting as much cash as you're being offered now. CPO. Must have been a Star Wars fan that named it that. No, oh, that was C3PO, Sam. Hey? That is just a load of papers that mean nothing. They're bullying us. Now, whose side are you lot on? We tried to see both sides. Right, so they've offered you a good deal on this place. Cost on the new build plus 50 grand. Do you want that, Lise? The amount of hours, or well, years it would take me to skivvy to get that lot together. Can you blame me? Blood money. Our money. And these new houses, they're really nice, which you would know if you had had a look. Us dingoes live here. There's memories here. Ghosts. Would you have them bulldoze over our butch? Or our shadrach who's six foot under out in that yard? I think it's further down than that. Not stay on his account. I'm staying on everyone's account. We're dingles. This is our heritage. This is our home. Yeah, and I want to save it, Dad, but I also want my mum happy. And this might be my only chance of a happy retirement. Feet up, money in the pot. And what if we fail? And we lose the fight and they take our house? What then? Nothing. Just us. With empty pockets and broken dreams, like I've had all my life. I want this chance. Well, you did the right thing bringing her to the surgery. Is finding her a foster family really the only choice? For now, yeah. Until she's properly house-trained. It's really your only option. They'll take her in, find her a home she can be happy in. I know you've fallen for her, but your lifestyle, it, it just doesn't fit with a dog. OK. Well, tell them I'll pay, you know, for anything, if, if she needs medical treatment. Yeah, me too. We're still her dog dads. <laughs> Trying to say goodbye. <clears throat> bye bye, little one. Find the best forever home. Give her a hand before I start crying. <laughs> All my girls making me upset today. Hey, I had to tell Tracy the truth. I'm sorry. I know. I was just trying to be nice. Well, in my experience, never be too nice to your wife's very attractive friend. Oh, I need to fix it. Big gesture. I could propose to her again. Well, you've lost your wedding planner. Yeah. Well, tell me what to do. I hope you can sort it. That Tracy's not murdering her. You've always been beautiful about anything you've ever wanted. You just lock up with them big brown eyes. Well, it wasn't like that. Oh, let me guess. You're a mess. Your best friend betrayed you by stealing your man. I don't want to steal him. Maybe he's right. Maybe it's not even true. I just made a mistake, didn't I? I, I just tried to latch on to, like, the one nice thing in my life. My husband. <laughs> What about me? Was I not a nice thing in your life? I mean, I was there for you, over Priya, comforted you. I even lent you the money for that blasted wedding dress because I couldn't bear you to feel hurt. That's nice. Yeah, no. And it still didn't stop you trying to wreck my marriage. Well, I didn't, did I, because he chose you straight away. Oh, so I'm supposed to be grateful. I'm a cow, I agree. And I'm a terrible friend, I don't deserve you, but know what you've got. 
You've got a loyal, loving, wonderful man. Who you still tried to take? Why? Why? Tell him you love him if you really love me and want my marriage to work like you say. I don't know. We'll try and think. How did it start? When? After, after my wedding. It was just a daydream. It was just harmless. I thought I, I was just I was I was really messed up. All right, and he was there. <sighs> my one good thing. I don't have your life. <laughs> People telling me how special, how beautiful I am. Men broken-hearted when they're jilted, begging me to come back. I had dirty old men leering at me down sex lines and no one thinking I was anything until David. I am your friend, all right? Really, I am, and I am sorry. Just tell me what it is that I need to do to put this right. Do you have anything gluten-free, lactose-free, sugar-free? Uh, an apple? I got to watch the calories. You're so lucky you can eat anything. Your time of life as well. So this will be lovely. A little roll for Leo. It's quite a big roll. <laughs> so sweet in his audition. Of course, I can cut back how much is on the stage. Build it into my Matilda's part. Take the pressure off. He'll be fine. Actually, as your assistant creative director... Uh, assistant to the creative director. <laughs> yes. I think Matilda should do a little less. Hmm. I think it's healthy. I think it teaches children to share the spotlight. That's what I said to Leo. Even if we all know this play is his fundraiser, really. Now, about this brochure. I'll be quite sure it should be your daughter on the front. I thought you might have changed your mind. Or would your sister not allow it? Well, I can make some choices on my own. So this is definitely your choice. We still have the lunchtime specials, if I can tempt you? Uh, just a coffee, please, black. Just coffee. I've not got that long. I have to be back at the hospital in an hour. Um, at least this way, I won't pass out on the sofa and embarrass myself. <laughs> a dating app? Have I missed this up again already? No, it's nothing, um... It's nothing important. Um, I think it was me that messed it up last time. Can we just... Start this again. Only if I get to use my lines again. I mean, not that they're much good. It's... Sorry, I am rubbish at flirting. It's just, you know, most of the people I deal with at work are unconscious and don't get that much chance to practice. Right, so that's what this is, is it? Flirting. <laughs> <laughs> Should we vote and raise our hands? Do it like the Dingle Court, all fair and square. It doesn't feel right us deciding this. I agree. Huh? It's a Dingle House. It's a dingle decision. Right. All those who say yes to one of these soulless new build things, vote now. I can't do this. No vote. Court adjourned. We stay. That's not what they said. All this fuss. You know we don't belong in a fancy new house. I need some air. Come on, Alfie. All those in favour of him going after her. I will do whatever it takes to make this right, OK? I'll, I'll talk to David again and I'll apologise. It's not enough. Well, you can have your best pair of shoes or, I don't know, I'll take you for a posh dinner. You can berate me in public, all right? You can tell everyone what I've done. I want you to leave. Yeah, that's a good idea. Gives a bit of time and space to just calm down. I think it'll be best for everyone if you leave the village. You can't ask that. I can't let him see you every day. I can't live thinking he might fall in love with you again. I have got too much here, right? I cannot just leave. Right, well, I'll make David go then. I'll force him to move away, change Jacob's life, our lives. 
Just to get away from you, is that what you want? Well, it's good to see you. Yeah, no sisters. <laughs> or ex-husbands. Right, well, my shift is... Mm -hmm. Look, um... <clears throat> he does... He does know that I'm seeing you today, you know it. It's over. Well, he seemed pretty much on your mind last time. If you're in, still in love with him, you know, just... Just say it. Oh, don't cry. I didn't want you to cry. Sorry. Look, I told them all to go so I could come and find you. I am fighting for the family. It's not so long since you walked out on all of us. Where were your family values then? This is stupid. Oh, I'm thinking... I don't want to spend the rest of my life bowing and scraping and wondering where the next penny's going to come from. Is that stupid? Wondering why you'd fight to the end for a house. But not for me. I, I'm doing all this for us. Alfie. Tonight, with tips on cutting back on your weekly shop, we've Save Money Good Food here next. Then trying before you buy, it's how to spend it well at Christmas with Philip at eight. And one more celeb has to go, the lads are back with I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here at nine. <laughs>